This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Your for loop doesn't need to count by one. You can update your variable however you want. Yeah, so this is going up by three right now. Do this. Run the program and read the code to understand it. All right, ready? So i is equal to zero. i must be less than 20. i is equal to i plus one. Notice what it's printing up down here. I'm going to just... All right, so it starts at zero. i is going to start at zero because we don't add to it on first loop. So is zero less than 20? Yes. And it goes down in and it outputs zero to the console. We then hit the bottom and go back to the top and it says, okay, i is equal to i plus three. So i was equal to zero. Zero plus three is, well, three. Is three less than 20? Yes. Oh, okay. So go inside of this loop and I'm going to print out three. Hits the bottom. Okay, i is equal to three. Three plus three is six. Is six less than 20? The answer, true. Yes. And it prints out this code and it keeps going until... It gets to 18, goes back up here. 18 plus 3 is 21. Is 21 less than 20? False, not true. And so it drops below. If there was another line of code here, it would run it, but there isn't. And that's why over here it shows us what i equals, but we only print out up to 18. Change the program so that it displays the even numbers between 0 and 100. Ooh, ah. So I'll show you something. I can do 100 here, and now it's going to print out i to... There we are. It's going to print out, it's going to count by three. So if we want to show even numbers and we want to count by two, I'm going to put two here, but this isn't good enough because it's going to stop at 98 because notice the I is 100 here, right? So we do get to 100, but it says, okay, is 100 less than 100? False. Drops below and it's done. So if we want to go to all the way to 100 and print it, kwapow! And there is some contention Um, if zero is even or not, that is up to you. If you say, heck no, it's not, you can always start at two right here and do the same thing. But I'll leave it at zero. Pretty cool. Let's keep going.